Uh, hello, so it's uh, 3am right now, I think. Um, yeah, I, I'm not that tired because I, I had a, like a two hour nap earlier, or three hour nap, I can't remember. Yeah, so, I don't know, I'm just set up watching videos about uh, feminism and like mostly Muslim feminists or women who claim to be feminist in Islam and it's like it's a bit contradictory I think because the Quran and the Sharia law is overtly oppressive towards women as I've made a video about this before and yeah and the Takiya states that um, women are obligate or not even just women but Muslim individuals are legally obligated to lie about their religion in order to make it seem I guess better than it is so it can fulfill an expansionist agenda and yeah so pretty much any Muslim woman who comes to our country and speaks in favour of Islam she's 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 not doing her Muslim friends any favours all of the women who are still living in Islamic countries being oppressed by men being stoned to death for being raped by their partner or being raped by another man like w women are seen as half the value of men and um, there's, a, there's a quote in the Quran which says uh, directors at men saying uh, women are your fields, you may enter the field in whichever way you please and it's like oh okay so the woman is basically just something that you own and you can use for sex whenever you want however you want and um yeah that's not oppressive I guess nope certainly not and that's just one of many things I know that if a, if a woman gets raped she requires four witnesses um four male witnesses in order for her claim to be taken seriously uh i'm trying to think of some more off the top of my head mm. uh, a woman must i think it's subdue her gaze or or look down at the floor so she doesn't make direct eye contact with any males uh, she must cover up her skin and this is to different extents uh within different I guess don't don't denominations of of Islamic doctrine um, obviously they're allowed to show different degrees of skin but it's, it's all basically the idea that you're only allowed to show your facial area and, and some some aren't even allowed to show that they have to wear like um, these burqas hijabs and I can't remember the name of the last one but it's basically the one where it's um it's got like a, a little uh, slit so that they can see but then the rest of the body's covered and that's basically because women are just the whole body seen as a sexual object for, for men to use and um, yeah basically men, men aren't able to control themselves enough sexually so they have to so women have to cover themselves up so that so that men don't get turned on I don't know. I think anyone in the UK or in the Western world who defends Islam is committing a moral crime. They're not committing a legal crime, and it's not something that should be as, should be seen as a crime. But they're they're not. Lying about things doesn't help. But Islam is objectively problematic towards dealing with women. And not even just women, like other minorities as well. Like, like uh, if you're in Islam and you're Muslim and you're gay, you probably get killed because that's what the Sharia law states. Um, I don't like black people. Uh, I can't remember what they call them. It's not. It's not the N word. It's a. Uh, it's another word. It's shah, but that's basically the equivalent of of the N word. Uh, yeah. That's 
don't know. I'm hungry. Well, I, don't know. I don't know if it's okay for me to say that in the video talking about Islam and, and women's rights, but you know, I didn't intend to make this video about the topic and it is a little bit depressing, but it's one I want to talk about. I want some spaghetti hoops. Yeah. I don't know. I should probably go to bed actually. Oh, I've got college tomorrow. 10 o'clock. I might not even upload this video to be honest. It's a bit all over the place. A little bit politically incorrect. But political incorrectness is definitely necessary when it involves when 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 the truth isn't politically correct we shouldn't just stay within the confines of political correctness because even 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 when what what is politically correct is objectively a lie or false political correctness shuts down dialogue for open and honest discussion about issues which need to be discussed necessarily like Islam and a lot of other political issues yeah hmm I don't know whether to go make spaghetti hoops or go to bed, go to sleep, or read. Probably shouldn't start reading because I did that this morning, technically yesterday morning, and I fell asleep halfway through a chapter, halfway through a page. You know, hey, when that happens, because I, when I, when I read a book, I like to go from chapter to chapter. Like I don't like stopping halfway in between a chapter and um, the book I'm reading at the minute it's like about 11 pages per chapter maybe ranging from 9 to 12 pages and it takes me around about 45 minutes to get through one chapter obviously that, that, that differs depending on how tired I am or what mood I'm in or how, uh, I don't know, it just, it just differs, but generally around 45 to 50 minutes, and that would take me to around about 4am, and I think, I don't know, I don't know if I'm willing to commit to that right now, although it is a very interesting book, it's Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment, and I've actually got another book, Dostoevsky, I'm not saying that right. Dos, Dostoevsky. Uh, it's the Karamazov brothers. But uh, I'm sort of looking forward to reading that, but also not because it's got about 900 pages. The one I'm reading currently, it's, a, it's only around about 400 pages, and I'm about 130 pages in. So yeah, but apparently the Karamazov Brothers is a, is a really interesting book, also linking to morality. But um, yeah, I can I can see. I don't know. I don't. I, I like Dostoevsky. I like his books because I, I, they're intelligently written. It's not. It's not, it doesn't seem trivial. He seems to be making a point about morality and religion and yeah, and nihilism and all that jazz. Yeah, I, I don't normally read fiction books typically neither, but I don't know. I guess uh, crime and punishment. I sort of open my eyes a little bit to fiction and how interesting it can actually be. Um, 
not that I read a lot of non-fiction books, it's just, well, I generally don't read a lot of books, it's, but recently, as I mentioned in my last video, I've, I've bought a ton of new books, I spent around £70 on books over Christmas, but, uh, these little ones, these little, uh, Penguin Classic are only, um, a pound each on Amazon, so, yeah, I just, I ordered a ton of them, and then, um, yeah, and then the bigger ones are a little bit more expensive, like, the first time I made the book order, I spent around £50 on books, and that was for, uh, some politics books, I think I got a Jordan Peterson one that still hasn't arrived, um, Richard Dawkins, uh, Aldous Huxley, uh, I'm trying to remember who else are, Sam Harris, um, Daniel Han, and yeah, and Dostoevsky, so I've got quite a lot of books to get through. Hmm. These ones I think are going to be fun to read because they're like, they're quite, yeah, a pound. They're quite, uh, short, like I think they're only around 70 pages. Some of them actually less, this one's only 50 pages. So it's like, it, the books that I'll be able to sit and read in like, probably a day, I reckon. And also that they're not like, big, so it's like, if, if that, if this was the same size as the book that I'm currently reading, it, I guess it would only equate to around 20 pages, so even better. And yeah, I hope, I hope they're interesting. <sighs> yeah, I like reading. I don't know. It's weird because it's something I never enjoyed doing at school. And I think it was partially because it was compulsory. And also because, I guess, reading, it takes more effort than watching a film. It's like... When you watch a film about something, it's just like that. You just have to sit and watch it. You get in your zone. You can drift off your mind, and it's like you're not you're not necessarily actively doing anything. And I do really like watching films, and um, but reading it's a, it's almost a different experience. It's like the way that we've got our information for uh, a big portion of time, a, a large portion of the human experience it was just information received from books and now we've got new media tv film youtube um we have all these different means of getting in information and perhaps it's a little bit more pragmatic also because reading is um it's, it's more time consuming but perhaps I, i'd say it's more rewarding it's like it's because you have to put more effort into it it's like I guess you take more from it almost. It's like to say that you've read a book is perhaps, um, I don't want to say better, but I will say better. Better than saying that you watched a documentary or you watched a film. It's though, I guess they're almost incomparable in that they're, they're different experiences almost, but yeah, I think they both have the pluses and the minuses to them. But I do like doing both. Okay, well the video is gonna cry in a minute anyway. I may or may not upload this. Um, well, I guess I guess you'll know if I do. Uh, don't want to make spaghetti hoops. But no, I think I'm going to. I have already had spaghetti on toast earlier. I can have it again. Yeah, right. Thanks for watching.